Hi, this is uh, Robert and I want to show you a very nice download in case you are using Blender. The download is on www.newmediasupply.co.uk and then slash blog.html. I will put a link under the video and uh, there are two downloads. One download is for the PBR shaders and the other download is for the textures. Uh, this link is for the shaders, that's a blend file. Once you downloaded the blend file, it's uh, good to just um, append the, um, the materials or a node tree. And another download, that's a zip file that contains 115 seamless textures. And you can read a bit of information on here. Uh, I will sh sh uh, show you quickly the shaders. So this is uh, subsurf scattering skin. This is not a PBR shader, but I included this one just in case you want to do something else than photorealistic rendering. A translucent material. I think this one is 80% translucent and 20% diffuse and um, with the, the reflection node from uh, Cinecat Pro so that makes it um, phys phys physically based and this one uh, transparent shader so all these uh, shaders except the tune one they have the the reflection node, uh, the, the reflection node from Cineca Pro. Um, this is uh, Velvet, and there was something more. This is a very standard uh, shader. I think you will use this shader maybe 85% of the cases. And this is a uh, uh, this one has two layers. The first layer is a rough metallic and it has a bump. And on top of that, there is a coat, and the coating doesn't have a bump. So that's why it looks like the uh, two layers because the, the, the one layer has bump on it, while the coat layer doesn't have it. Of course, you can make it uh, rougher or slightly an old bump. But um, I suppose this is nice for uh, maybe cars, but also a lot of other materials. And this is more or less a simple uh, metal shear. I didn't do much about it. Uh, let emission, also very nice. And this is a glass uh, shear with f um, f volume uh, absorption. So once you download uh, the blend file, or maybe you are going to open the blend file. If you are going to open the blend file, the first thing you want to do is go to the node editor. Then you go to the shader nodes and then to your world, to the world uh, nodes and there you delete this terrible sky texture <coughs> and then you add uh, let me see texture environment texture otherwise you cannot see your materials very well I have to take a look where are my Oopsie. my environment maps are here this one works pretty nice for me. Then I click on here. What shader do we have? It is the metal coated one. Alright. So we can take a look at the notes. Let me see for metal is this one. Um, well I didn't do much but these shaders, if you have them, I think they will be um, one of the best uh, shaders 
you have. I think you, you, if there are a thousand cheaters, if you can find a thousand cheaters on the internet, I think maybe these will in the top 25 you can find. Not that I did very special things to them. In fact, I, I kept it very simple. So I go on tab. What I did was just um, use the reflection node from Syndicat Pro, and then I already mixed. Well, in this case, I used a diffuse with a glossy. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but here I have um, two uh, layers. So in that case, I used that, and I didn't include anything here let me see all right so this is anyway you can take a look at that one uh, let's take a look at another material so this one this material so what I did here was just a reflection note from Seneca Pro with a color diffuse and I did this kind of setup, I did that with all the others as well, velvet, metallic plastics, and most of the others. It works very good. I can adjust the color, roughness, and I use the IOR, IOR, so if you want less, uh, want to have less glossy, you can put it on a lower IOR. The lowest you can get that's probably something like this. And if you want to have it fair glossy, that's much too glossy, of course. Mm, you would go to approximately, I think, uh, here. That's very glossy already. So most materials are between um, and this one, uh, 1.45, and uh, let's say maybe this one. The higher you put it, the the harder the material looks like. But anyway, then. Um, I can show you something about the textures. Uh, so there's a texture download here as well. Um, so you can download this zip file or if you use 7-zip, you can click on this uh, link. And maybe you can use a zip file, of, uh, sorry, the texture something like this so you have a texture coordinate then a mapping you can find it here factor mapping and the texture co coordinate is here input texture coordinate then an image texture and then you find your uh, seamless pattern well there are more patterns than uh, and they are textures, they are not organic, but maybe I can use them for sci-fi or tiles, something like that. And then you have the image texture, but you cannot put it directly into the shader. Um, you have to, or use a mix node, for example, color, and put it in here, like that. And then give two uh, different colors there. So like this, and a color here, and put that into your shader. Or you can use a color ramp, you can put it on constant, or like this. We'll take a look what that looks like. Yeah, so I put it on constant. Very nice. But you can um, use them also in 
any kind of input you can see here you can also put them in roughness or if you have another shader you can put them in most um, inputs and here I put them in a bump but before uh, let me see if it, if it is black and white already you can skip this uh, RGB to black and white you can put it directly here but if it has if a texture has any color you have to use this one so you can find it here convert uh, RGB to black and white that means a colored texture to a gray scale or black and white because a bump a bump uh, note this input for eight needs uh, black or white or a gray scale and this one you put it in the normal and of course you can do a lot of other things like you can for example copy this one copy that one then grab this one and then do color mix maybe you can put it on uh, difference get another texture like uh, so and then you put it in here put that one in there then you can put this in here something <coughs> and if you put this one in there let's check what happens now yeah you can get all kinds of crazy stuff It's a bit hard to uh, show it here, but you can play a lot. Oh, I forgot something. I've got to put that here. And I better show you um, a cube. Let's make a cube. Uh, let's move this to another layer. Layer 2. Uh, shift ask. Curse the center. Shift A, M, C, add cube, then add the cube, U for unwrap, and then go back to object mode, and then assign a shader, in this case the texture again, then put the camera back, and see what is that. So let's scale it a bit normally. I think three. That's a good one. Put everything on the three to start with. Mm, let's choose another one here. So and here another one. Let's check. All right, so we can see here that we can mix these uh, textures. I oh, can put this in black. So that's it. So you can play a lot with these um, settings and textures. Well, thanks for watching and uh, have a lot of fun with these um, shaders. I think they look uh, very nice. They are very useful. Oh, uh, there's one thing I uh, want to show, and that is the um, workaround. If you start a new scene. 
for example, I use for this cube, I use my plastics. So, and <clears throat> the best thing I do um, is click on this one. So that means for this cube, I have a unique material. Let's say cube number one. Then I go to this one and I click again. I say cube number two. Then if I go to my note editor, right, and this one here. So then I have then uh, two materials. I started just with with uh, plastics, but I can make endless, endless um, variations on it. And of course, I can combine uh, all right. Uh, Oh, thank you for watching, have a lot of fun with the shaders and the textures, and um, I'll see you next time.